He is known for his contributions to the field of science, particularly in the area of low-temperature physics. He is recognized for his pioneering work on the properties of matter at extremely low temperatures, including the discovery of superconductivity. His name is Heike Kamerling Onis. In the small city of Groningen, Netherlands, a brilliant mind was born. His name was Heike Kamerling Onis, and he would go on to become a legend in the field of science. Born to a brickworks owner father and a mother from Arnhem, Kamerling Onis' upbringing was far from glamorous. But that didn't stop him from pursuing his passion for knowledge. At the University of Groningen, Kamerling Onis began his academic journey. Under the guidance of esteemed professors like Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff, he honed his scientific skills. Seeking further education, he traveled to the University of Heidelberg, where he continued his studies from 1871 to 1873. Returning to Groningen, he earned his master's degree in 1878 and a doctorate in 1879, focusing his research on Foucault's pendulum. After completing his studies, Kamerling Onis joined the Delft Polytechnic as an assistant to Johannes Boschard, the director of the institute. In 1881 and 1882, he even took on the role of lecturer, showcasing his ability to not only excel in research but also to share his knowledge with others. Little did the world know that within this unassuming scientist lay the potential to make groundbreaking discoveries that would change the course of science forever. In 1911, Heike Kamerling Onis embarked on a groundbreaking experiment to measure the electrical conductivity of pure metals at extremely low temperatures. At the time, there were differing opinions among scientists regarding the behavior of electrons in a conductor at absolute zero. Some believed that the flow of electrons would cease completely, while others, like Kamerling Onis, thought that the resistance would steadily decrease. On April 8, 1911, something extraordinary happened. Kamerling Onis discovered that when a solid mercury wire was immersed in liquid helium at 4.2 K, its resistance vanished completely. He immediately recognized the significance of this discovery and described it as a new state of matter with extraordinary electrical properties. He named it the superconductive state and later adopted the term superconductivity to describe it. This breakthrough earned Kamerling Onis widespread recognition and acclaim. In 1913, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his pioneering investigations into the properties of matter at low temperatures, which included the production of liquid helium. His work revolutionized our understanding of electrical conductivity and opened up new possibilities for scientific exploration. Kamerling Onis' discovery of superconductivity laid the foundation for future advancements in the field. The phenomenon continues to be studied and harnessed for various applications, from powerful electromagnets in medical imaging to high-speed electronic devices. His legacy lives on as his work paves the way for further breakthroughs and innovations in the world of science and technology. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.